Whilst many people are running around trying to solve the issue with the WannaCry worm in Windows, this seems as good a time as any to bring up a very old vulnerability, which was tagged CVE 2010-4669, the Network Neighbor Discovery Protocol in IPv6, and yes, I brought up a Common Vulnerabilities and Exposure number of 2010, i.e. it dates back seven years ago. And this was an attack I demonstrated against Windows 8 in 2012. So surely Windows 10 can't be vulnerable. Can it? It is! Ah, oh, Microsoft has still not solved the issue. Unbelievable. So yeah, <laughs> this same attack, it's, it can't knock out Windows as bad as before. So let me explain the attack. It works by sending thousands of spoofed IPv6 router addresses to a network. This attack requires you to be within a local area network. It doesn't work over the internet. So yeah, you send thousands upon thousands of fake IPv6 routers. And this dates back to Windows XP. So against a Windows 7 machine, it will try and connect to every single router. Uh, after a very short time, it drains all resources on the machine, and it literally sends the CPU into a complete flat-out spiral that it will never recover from. Basically, you have to go and power it off, and then upon reboot, as long as the attack has stopped, it will continue to function again. Against Windows 8, it would cause an interruption against the network for a short time, but if the attack sustained, I think for a couple of minutes, it would knock out the network connection, and you have to reboot and connect again. So against Windows 10, it's not as bad. It is improved. It will knock out the network connection momentarily. So let me give you a demonstration of what happens. So of course, better give Windows 10 a head start from Kali Linux. So yeah, boot up Kali Linux as well now. So on the left-hand side, we shall have Kali, and on the right-hand side, we shall have Windows 10. Hmm, perhaps what would have been intelligent to do was limit the CPU cores for each operating system because I think they're both going to take four CPU cores. And I need two for the screen recording, so I... And I've still not got around to ordering new hardware yet. Will happen. I'm hoping very soon. So let's fire up terminal whilst we still wait for Windows 10. And the attack group is called ATK6. And the particular one I'm after is Flood Router 26. Flood Router 26. There's a few options included with the attack, but the basic one I need is just the interface. So I've got a wired network connection, and Windows 10 is also on a wired network connection. So let's open up the browser. Oh, I could open up the other um, <clears throat> browser in quotes and try out some internet browsing just to show everything is working. Oh, do hurry up, dear. Come on, it's very slow, isn't it? So, anything. Yes, so anything works in Google. Let's start the attack off. Oh, hang on. one last thing first. Let's get the task manager going. So here we are. Performance. Why is the disk going flat out? Anyway. Incidentally, Linux and Apple are not affected by the attack, and I believe from a bit of research that BSD has now fixed their vulnerability to the exploit. They're not vulnerable either. So started the flood network with router advertisements on the ETH0, and you can see the CPU usage has shot up. Seems to have become a bit delayed as well, trying to move things around there. It's kind of stuttering a bit. Um, the mouse has just got left behind. I can barely get to Google. Come on, it wasn't this bad yesterday, so <laughs> can't do anything. Yeah, it's just stuttered and ground to a halt, isn't it? So let's try and go somewhere on the internet. We've got one suggestion here from Google. I'm just going to try and go to the site. Would like to, it's not, so yeah. The network really has ground to a halt. So if I stop the attack for a moment, so I press Control C and just try my search again in Google. <laughs> okay, it's booting me back to the home page, but whatever, so oh okay, whoever you are, Anna Friel, so you can see a Google search now works. So it is not a sustained attack here. 
and CPU usage has dropped down. Starting the attack again, and you'll see the same sort of effect. Let's try and search in Bing just to show it's not just an issue with Google. Come on, there we go. So try and take me to YouTube. Nope. Not happening, is it? Nope, can't reach this page. <laughs> Make sure you've got the right address, bing.com. <laughs> oh, Microsoft can't even get to bing.com. So if I show you what's going on in Wireshark, might as well keep the attack going. There's no reason not to. Linux is carrying on okay. This is just a almost never-ending quantity of these router advertisement packets going out the network. And they're going out at a rapid rate. Look at that, it's just filling up very quickly. As I mentioned, you have to be in the network to carry out this attack or stress test. It does not work over the internet, but if you manage to gain a toehold into a network, you could still bring a company, well, I was going to say to its knees, but uh, if you've got an IT department that could work out what's going on, they may eventually find the computer or device that you're using to exploit with this attack and just shut it off. You can install this router advertisement attack onto any Linux system. The potential for fun and mayhem is right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. <laughs>